Okay, guys, doing my finishing up on the 318 Mission Impossible. This is actually the other head. This is our number eight cylinder. We're going to be comparing this one to our number one cylinder that we've been looking at for a while now. Now, I did go through the bowl and try to get the bowl, at least the throat area, as close as possible. I did the bowls, the deep end of the bowls, a while ago, and they should be really close as far as size. But remember, we had serious core shift with this casting, so certain ports are actually over to the left or over to the right a little more than others. But I was able to do a fairly good job at evening them up. Now this one, you can see the blue. The blue is quite light, but it goes from right about here all the, all the way around. All the way around. I don't know if you guys can see the on the valve a little bit. Looks good, right? Now this is also a different valve. This is, uh, I went through and I textured all the valves. So let's take a look at this valve. Okay, not a lot of blue on the valve itself. And the way I did this one, it looks like the seat's about 60,000, look judging by eye, which is a little steep. We probably could put a back cut on it, but if you take a look, let's see if we can change this, this view and get a good close-up of that. There's not a lot of difference between the tulip shape and the angle that DV wants me to use on these. Um, I'm going to say, I don't even think, oh man, I don't even think I can do a back cut on there and do it justice. Okay, same as the last one, this was done with my very old, beat up, banged up uh, double cut that gives a very rough texture. As far as we're in the bowl, she looks pretty good. She goes right to the roof, fairly wide. Let's take a look at our bores. Okay, we got excellent coverage like we did last time we did the textured valve. Uh, looks really, really good. It may have sprayed a little bit less than last time we did it, but I do it as close as I can. Okay, overall, she looks it looks pretty good. You can just see a touch of blue in that chamber. It's pretty happening. Now... How close should ports be? Well, these have had you know, a fair amount of work. Probably, in reality, these probably have more hours in them than any other pair of stock heads I've ever done in my life. Uh, yeah, it's, it was bad. Because do you remember, remember it's, it's a learning curve for me. I've never... No, I did one... I did one 318, probably 30 years ago. And they had chambers similar to this and I remember I cut them for bigger valves and stuff but I didn't have a flow bench then so I didn't waste as much time I just uh, did what I thought I could could do he put it on a 318 and a full-size charger it ran quite good it wasn't it wasn't as snappy as I would hoped I think they used a little bit too big a cam with the open chamber so it didn't have any quench but it, it pulled very well in the mid-range. Okay, important things to note. I think this is the last one we looked at. This is the new texture valve with the high margin, which is, this is also a high margin because it's brand new. Textured 1.78, no back cut. Uh, this is number seven, this is number eight. This is cylinder number eight, this is cylinder number one. These pluses and minuses are in reference to this. How'd we do? equals minus 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 plus minus equals minus plus plus take a look at how close they are got a big big downer on on 500 from head to head these are identical these are almost identical almost identical almost identical a little bit less here a little bit less here a little bit less here okay from one cylinder head to another cylinder head, not bad. 
okay? As far as our swirl, it does have a little bit different swirl, but remember, it's going to have a little bit different port as well. So, minus, 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 plus, minus, equals, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus. Is it a good usable curve? Yeah, it starts to move around 350, which is, which is no sweat, right? And at 600, we got plenty. Is it better to have some motion? I think it's better to have a little motion, but... Okay, so what can we deduce from that? Let's take a look at, at our airspeeds and see how much of a difference one, we have one from one port to the other. Okay, now I know this, this, this bowl is offset compared to the, the other head. And I can tell just by the air speeds. Okay, so this is our seventh final. This is our eighth final. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to this. Okay, we got a plus, plus, minus, very close as far as the pinch. Because the pinch should be almost identical in size because I, I went through them to make them very, very close. How do we do on our speeds? Well, this one, center of the cylinder is definitely lower. And it's faster on the outside. Probably because this has got more area on this side of the bowl because due to the core shift, I had to do that. Which makes sense. It also makes sense why it has less swirl. And how do we do on our short side? Well, we got a minus equals exactly the same in the center and a plus. Fairly close, a little bit faster than this. But if the bowl isn't quite as even and really set up the way I want it to, it makes sense a little more is going across the short side. You guys let me know if I goof that up or not. In uh, the big scheme of things, which one's going to make more power? They're going to be within a, a few horsepower of each other, really. Okay, guys, sorry, but I made a mistake. This was my eighth test. That's when I put a tiny radius on the bottom. The new one, I went and I changed the valve job back to what it is on this, and I put a little bit of a radius on it. So this is a more accurate. Notice I had to scribble out some pluses and minuses. This one is actually a more accurate test because it's going from 8 to 9. All right, how do we do? Plus, minus, equals, minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 minus. And the last one is equals. Okay, take a look at how close. Still got a big step back on that one. That's due to the bowl. Very close, very close. A little better here, a little better here. Very close, exactly the same. Close, okay. So let's take a two second look at our air speeds and we'll move on to the exhaust. Okay guys, so we are going to take these numbers, which is our eighth test on the final and compare them to these guys here. So I did have to scribble out a couple pluses and minuses. How are we looking as far as our pinch? Minus, plus, minus, minus, big plus here. I told you that was due to the bowl. Plus, minus, minus. Okay, not bad as far as air speeds, as far as air speeds here. These are even better as far as being even. But it's a different cylinder head, guys. And uh, overall, I think getting from one to the other, it's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, you know what? We're going to skip that exhaust because I don't want to make these videos too long. And uh, give me some input on this. Uh, I'm trying to banging the... the you know, the important parts of these out at this point. I'm missing one one intake valve. I'm looking around for that. And uh, trying to get all this stuff set up. I got to go visit DV. He give me a call. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, I can't leave work. There's too many big projects going on and there's uh, nobody qualified. <laughs> so I got to stick around a little bit more. Uh, hopefully things will calm down either at the end of the month or the beginning of next month. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.